What's up guys, how you doing? It's Trace from Live Through Dream. Got a quick unboxing video for you today. I couldn't be more excited about what we're gonna see today. Uh, my good friend Clark Draper over at Tyrus Watches. If you don't follow him already, man, you gotta find him on Instagram, uh, find him on YouTube. He's doing some great things in the watch fam. His first project watch that he, he released and that he worked on was called the Titan. Uh, it was one of the first watches that was sent to me to be able to be reviewed through the channel and through the Instagram account. And I couldn't be more grateful to Clark and all the help that he's provided me along the way. Um one of the cool things about Clark is that he's been very, very honest with me through the process, uh, you know, of, of getting into this space and getting into this process. He's been, you know, a great guy to give me a behind the scenes look at what it takes to, to launch a micro brand, to design the watch, to deal with people overseas and manufacturing, quality control checks, the goods, the bads, the money it takes, all the things he's been very open, you know, door and, and open process about. And so me as a fan of the watches have been able to learn. And again, you know, it, it's people like Clark that are driving this space and driving this business. And it's why people like me and people that follow the channel and the Instagram account can get to you know a really high quality product for a good price point. And so he's done it again. The whole time that he had the Titan, he'd been secretly working on a dive watch. Uh, he knew that the, that the watch space was really saturated with divers, so he wanted to do something new and different. And I'm really proud of him for the design cues that he's worked out with his new watch. The name is The League. Uh, if you've been following his Instagram account over at Tyrus Watches, You've seen it already. He sent me one today. I'm crazy excited to see it. Let's get this thing unwrapped. I've already popped the seal so we can get in here easier. Let's see what he sent us. Um, okay, this is it, this is it. First of all, quick wrist check. I got my Modern Made Man USA on a Bertucci uh, uh, strap today. Really cool strap, really tough guy. And this Modern Made Belfort's been awesome, man. But look at this bad boy. Wow, y'all, how cool is that? Man. Okay, so right off the bat, out of the out of the, the bubble wrap. And again, y'all, this is his prototype, you know, obviously not his production model. This is what he sent me for review, and I think he sent a couple people for review. But look at that logo pop, guys. The favorite thing about you know Clark's watches, his logo is really perfect. I think it's really balanced and cool. But y'all, he gets that metallic candy red paint to emboss off this dial. And again, I say emboss, I believe it's an applied logo. And look at that metallic paint, y'all. It's a flat kind of matte blue dial kind of absorbs the light and gets a different light play really cool there you can see that that metallic pop he's got the tyrus uh in 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 like you know kind of a polished uh uh indice there man look at that so again, I've skipped right past it. The watch, it's the league. And obviously two plays on that name. It's a dive watch. League is a measurement, uh, you know, obviously of depth under the water. So he wanted to use that as a play on words with the name, but obviously you get the, the, the kind of the baseball feel from it as well. Uh, you know, uh, the, the dial action, <laughs> he said it was awesome. It's so good. Look at that, man. Everything lines up perfectly. Great bezel action, great, uh, great feedback, great noise, great click there. But this bracelet, y'all, I'm gonna have to get this other watch off. Let me Get this one off so I can put it on. Hopefully it's 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 close size wise so I can show it to you guys. So he's got a stainless steel uh, bracelet here. Everything's polished. It looks really nice. It fits in seamless. It's an integrated bracelet that goes right into the lugs. And man, it tapers down here. I'm let, guessing just eyeballing it that it's about a 20, maybe down to like a 16, maybe 18, 16 uh, to clasp. But it's got a nice taper on it. And man, let's put it on see how it feels. I've been so excited to put this on since you showed me the drawings and the, uh, the wow, if it's perfect. Look, he's got this thing sized from my wrist. That's awesome. Look at that, man. Clark, you killed it, man. Really, really unique watch. I'm just proud of him for taking a chance here and going a little bit outside of the box. You know, obviously a lot of great divers have been released this year. The Christmas rush was great. A lot of good ones. A lot of good ones on the market right now, but you're seeing a lot of homage watches. You're seeing a lot of copies. You're seeing a lot of same old, same old uh, with a different logo, maybe a different indice here or there. But this guy's is something completely fresh and new. And just really proud of Clark for taking a big stab at it and, you know, and taking a chance here that the watch fam is going to see his vision. Um, I definitely see it. I saw it from his drawings. I saw it from the, you know, the, the mock-ups that he sent me, but now having it on hand on wrist and in person, I am a true believer in the vision, man. This bracelet, it just, it just feels way, you know, way more expensive than I know, you know, it's going to be whenever he finally releases it. Uh, the bezel, like I said, very smooth, great action here. I'll get all the materials for you. I want to say that it's a ceramic inset, but don't quote me on that. 
I'll get you all that stuff. I know that the, the straight indices here are applied with loom, and I think the Roman numerals are not. They are the same brushed, uh, you know, silver color that his Tyrus badging is done in there with his, his name. Uh, and so uh, very, very cool there. Let's get a look at the case back here. Sorry, I put it on so fast that I, I skipped through some of this stuff. Cool clasp here. Again, a little bit nicer feel. Really nice there with the button closure. All feels great. Solid, robust. All right, let's take a pick. Okay, here we go. You get some more of his logo here. Awesome, man. Great etching here on the case back. See if I can get the camera to focus. There we go. So you have his Tyrus logo, the Japanese movement. You got the stainless steel badging there. You got the 10 ATM water resistant and the sapphire glass. So he's checked all the boxes, guys. I mean, really done a great job there. It's it, I wouldn't call it chunky per se. It does seem to have a great streamlined profile here. Again, you get the uh, polished surfaces. You get kind of a cool transition here from like the straight of the lug to the round here. You can kind of see my reflection even in the in the, uh, in the polishing there. Cool lug, you know, transition there with the integrated bracelet. Just a lot of really cool details. And again, forgive me for saying it like this, I'm not bashing anyone in the watch space right now because I'm a huge fan and follower of all the micro brands for the different qualities they have, but just something new, guys, something fresh. I like the handset that he picked out, uh, you know, understated, but still very sharp and still very precise. I believe it's the same second hand that he had on the Titan, which is his other watch that I fell in love with. That's the first watch that he sent me to review and that I got to spend time with. Absolutely love that watch. But guys, I mean, I just, I can't say enough, man. I love the uh, the kind of the militaristic font here with the uh, split numerals on the uh, on the uh, the bezel insert. Uh, and again, you get a great, enough of a grip here on the bezel uh, to where you can get that movement around and it's just fine. It sits far enough up off the dial. Um, I mean, I just can't, I can't say enough, guys. Zero wiggle, zero play in this bracelet. Again, I, I just... Forgive me for being in a little bit of the micro brand scene. I just feel like it feels like a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones that I've had in hand. So, you know, great job, Clark, for sourcing a great band there and a great, you know, bracelet that's going to hold up and looks nice. But again, the polishing, you know, it, when he showed me the drawings and he showed me, you know, kind of the mock ups, I didn't know what to think of, of the polishing. I've never had this much polishing on a, on, on a watch before, but it comes off really, really nice. And again, you know, at first glance, I'm in love with it. I mean, it's just awesome. It's awesome. I, I just, I really am a fan. Wow. I just keep, I kind of keep going to keep putting it back on wrist. Again, to me, the trademark in the Tyrus watches is that red pop. I just think it's just, it sticks out so, you know, pronounced against this blue background. Obviously you get the horizontal stripes there, you know, in the face. He wanted that to set off the dial and just give it a different dial presence and a different feel. And again, just set it aside in the watch space from being something different, you know, than the average diver. Obviously, that's where you get that name, the league. Uh, you, could, you could take that as an underwater, you know, play, which it definitely is. Uh, but it also gets a baseball feel. So for all you diehard baseball guys, the guys that follow these seasons and these players, uh, you know, it, whether it be MLB or college or the minor leagues, whatever you're into, man, you know, you definitely get at a glance a great baseball feel from this thing. Like, like the, like the, you know, the stitching on a leather baseball, um, you know, the, the white dial is even a little bit more subdued. Obviously the white dial, you get those white horizontal, uh, you know, stitchings across. And again, you know, I think it's even, even cooler effect on the blue because it pops more, but on that white, you're still going to get that horizontal feel. Um, Again, I think Clark does great work. I know he's worked his his tail off with his his people in manufacturing to make sure that this lives up to his code, which is only the highest, you know. And so I think obviously if you've had one of his products before, or got your hands on a product of his before, you know that he's big about the details. So um, man, I, I just can't say enough. Let's see what else he's got in the box. I feel like we got some other things in here. Um, okay. All right, so you got the extra links, which is really nice. I mean, Clark just had the size perfectly for my wrist. You got the extra links. And we also have something else in here. Let's see what this, oh, he did it. Let's go, he sent the Titan back, let's go. I didn't know if he was gonna send it back or not. Come on, man, that's too nice. You, you didn't have to do that, Clark. I appreciate you letting me spend more time with this guy. This is the one that set it off for me. Again, I, I, it's a simple watch, guys. It, it doesn't have a million you know, things going on to it, but this thing, I just really fell in love with. It's an absolute strap monster. Um, you know, It's just got a lot of his details in it. Um, that's where I love you know, to, to kind of fall in love with the micro brand scene because it just popped to me. Again, you get that. Look at that metallic logo, y'all. Come on, it's so cool. When the light catches that bad boy, it just pops. In the sunlight, it goes, 
it's crazy. The loom on this thing is, is incredible. I know the loom is going to be great on this one. When I do the full review of the Lee, guys, I'll include all that stuff. So Again, forgive me, y'all. 10 minutes on unboxing. I meant for this to be quick. Instagram, please go check him out. Clark Draper over at Tyrus Watches. Give him a look. Give him a follow. This thing's hitting Instagram and, and, and soon uh, and Kickstarter even sooner. So please, man, keep in touch with that. Support his project, man. Support the micro brand scene. And man, just keep supporting these guys who are willing to put their neck out there for us to push the watch space a little bit further. So Clark, you nailed it, man. I'm in love. It's not going to come off the wrist for a while, man. I, I, I don't even know. I might never send it back. So thank you so much for your support. Guys, if you're not already, man, and you can't hear it from my voice, make sure you start living the dream, man. Thanks. Bye.